it's Diana here again um, welcome to my channel uh, today we're just going to talk about um, how to keep a relationship um, happy and long okay so I'm just going to share to you uh, my experiences and you know just 10 secrets of how to keep a good and long lasting relationship okay so just a little background I've been married for almost 21 years next month not always not always happy but you know good good marriage I will say and um, we've been together for like 20 almost 24 years so anyway so my first is you have to complement each other so it's either physically or work-wise home family or anything you just have to tell your partner that how much you appreciate how much you like the way she looks or he looks today and the effort that she's making to make herself better okay so it, it's like you know you can just tell oh honey you know you look so good today or you know um i think you've been losing weight keep it up you know something like that or oh well done darling you know you you uh you know you've been promoted today congratulations you know you've worked so hard for that you know give some encouragement and some compliments and you know a gratitude to your partner so always compliment your partner or whatever he does or she does um it should come from you first uh, you know rather than to someone else okay so mas maganda yun sa yun na nagagaling kaysa marinig pa niya sa iba because sometimes when he or she hears it from other person minsan nahuhulog ang loob nila so it's good to hear it from your partner straight away because it you know it boosts her confidence as well so yun first is compliment each other okay uh, work family you know if you think that he's working too hard for your family tell him you know you know thank you for working too hard for the family if he's doing house chores cooking and you know doing your car which my husband is doing ever since day one for me so do that second is both of you, you always have to stay attractive to each other I know maybe some of you doesn't you know doesn't um, agree with me but I think you know you have to look good for each other at least you know you try to to you know you try to to look good for each other because for me um, if you value yourself and if you take time for yourself your partner will respect you more okay your partner will respect you more it's vice versa as well so if your partner sees you now you know you you're doing stuff to look after yourself and he you know he'll value and respect you more and same as vice versa as well okay so um you always have to stay attractive physically you know because sometimes physically is more especially sa mga men more on visual sila so and then third is I would say try to be honest to each other. It's hard, really hard to be try to be honest to each other, but you know, yun lang short lang short lang ang try to be honest to each other as much as possible. And the fourth one is um, money issues. You know, money is always an issue with the family. So, but don't make it as too, you know, too complicated. Na you know it would cause trouble sa family niyo because it will just pass and money you will always gain it you know pag, as long as you're healthy as long as you're working as long as you're leaving you know you could always earn there's always a way for you to earn money so for me even if you have financial problem in the family you know you should still always stick together and um, you know talk with your partner and how to resolve your family or financial issues because eventually you don't want that to be um, an issue in your family that will eventually break you okay so money issues no okay so um, the fifth one is you have to make time for each other that's number one you have to spend time for each other you know even if, the, even if in a busy day 
you know, long day, especially here um, sa overseas, abroad, you know, we don't have anyone that helps us, you know, so you should still have time for each other, even sa paggabi, you know, before you go bed, you talk, how was your day, darling, you know, um, uh, you know, how did you go to, uh, how was your work, you know, stuff like that. Even if you're eating together, you know, you talk, you spend time for each other. And um, it, it's it's very important. You have to spend time for each other. It doesn't have to be you have to go outside to, for a dinner or something, which you can do, but now it's locked down. So, you know, but if it's not, then, you know, maybe you can go once a week or once a fortnight just f for the two of you. It's very healthy, okay? It's just like, you know, um, uh, it, it's it's a very healthy in your relationship. Pag gagawin niyo yun. Um, stay connected to each other. Number six, stay connected to, to each other. It means like, you know, even if you're at work or even he or she is at work or even if you're overseas, you know, make time to um, text or call or just say hi or how was your day, you know, just, just let him or her know that you are thinking of her, okay? Uh, you know, ma very important talaga yun. Uh, you have to show your partner that you're thinking about her even na hindi kayo magkasama dalawa. So, stay connected. Okay? And uh, my seventh one is be driven. Um, be driven. <laughs> it means like um, men all, I would, I would say all, all men wants women who's driven but I would say most men wants women who's driven it means they need to be confident of themselves independent women okay so independent women means you know like you know she can look after herself even there's he's not around you know work wise family wise her with herself you know she's just driven and she's just career oriented you know she knows what she wants and um um you know like uh, she will go for it, you know, she will go for it and your partner will be, will be so much impressed with you when you are driven. Career driven is, is really good and it will like, you know, your partner will, will respect and will look up, up to you more if, if you are like that. So, you know, career driven. So, and then the next one is um, stay mysterious with each, with each other, okay? So, sometimes, you know, I know you have you don't have to keep secrets with, you, with each other, but, you know, um, you know, at times you have to be mysterious as well. You know, like with husband and wife, you know, you have to be, sometimes you have to be medyo pakipot, pakipot, yung mga ganun ba? So, um, just stay mysterious in your own way, whatever you think about mysterious, that's it, okay? Just stay mysterious because the more you get mysterious, your husband will like, mm, you know, uh, I want to know more about, you know, the more and the more she, he'll, he'll be like um, thinking of um, doing more things with you, okay? Because she, she thinks that you're mysterious, so, and you, you know, you, you do exciting things as well. So, you stay mysterious, um, um, adjust, okay? Adjust. It's number, you know, it, it's number eight, but it's, it's, really you know it's really good because you have to adjust because you are two different person okay you're two different person and you're not related to each other and um you know you just have to adjust with everything in attitude you um the way she she does things you know um if if your partner is in a bad mood ikaw dapat ikaw low mood ka lang. You know, makinigini ka na lang, ganun. Do not, wag kayong mag-crush. Okay? So, if you think that, um, if you think that your partner is in a bad mood, so, you know, just ignore it because it will only take a few hours anyway. So, um, and then it will go away. Um, every person is different as well. Anyway, but I would say you have to adjust to each other. Whatever it is, you know, mag-adjust na lang kayo. Kung, Kung, uh, kung, kung baga sa, sa luto, 
you know, kung baga sa luto, kung kailangan ng konting salt, lagyan mo ng konting salt. Kung kailangan ng paminta, lagyan mo konting paminta. Kung medyo maalat na, lagyan mo ng konting asukal para medyo mag, mag, kwan siya, mag, ano to, medyo mag, um, maganda yung panlasa niya. So, ganun, mag-adjust, you have to adjust to each other. Okay? It's, it's either way around, ikaw mag-adjust at one day, or siya mag-adjust the other day. Okay? But you have to adjust to each other. And, um, um, the other one is, I think the last one is, I've got my thing, is to love and value yourself. Okay? So, my tenth one is to love and value yourself. Because, and respect yourself. You know, because if you love, value, and respect yourself, you know, your partner will do the same to you. Uh, because nakikita niya how you how you deal with yourself. So I think if you if you show yourself respect and um, respect and um, love, you know, um, your partner will do the same. Okay, so yun. So um, uh, there's really no perfect relationship anyway. Um, uh, as I said, you know, um, everyone has to be to adjust to each other. There's no fairy tales in relationship, but you know, I've been married for almost 21 years, and I would say na it's not a, a a fairy tale na you know you think that it's all good things that's happening. You know, it, this is reality, and you know, um, you have you both have to face. Um, whatever trouble, whatever problem in your relationship, you know, it's 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 not a, um, a an, an easy decision to come to a marriage. It's di it's different just to being a boyfriend and a girlfriend, you know. But when you get to a ma to being married and having kids, it's so much different. You have to. You have to think about your children and, you know, and um, also about yourself. And, you know, um, you know, it's, it's very, it's very important. So, um, Yun, um, for me, if you think that, if you think that, you know, uh, y your relationship, is my relationship with my partner or husband worth saving? If you love him, I think if you love him, 50% or more, I would say it's worth trying again. It's worth saving it. Even with your partner or even with your boyfriend, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be time bound. You know, some, some relationship just get to know each other for a few months, less than a year or something, but they work and they get long, you know, long relationship long time relationship so for me wala ang wala time it doesn't include you know so because it's a process it's a process you know um being in a relationship is a process every day you're learning something from your partner and um you you put it in your head and you put it in your heart and you show it to her and if you do that you will both of you will be happy okay so um you so for me, they said, uh, para sa akin sa ang kwan ko is a uh, happy, happy wife is a happy life. I, I think it's really true, you know. But sometimes, you know, hindi mo naman pwede lagi pamper ang wife mo. If he's, if she's wrong, you have to tell her that she's wrong, and she will learn from it. But you have to tell her nicely because sometimes, you know, women can be a bit sensitive. It's different from men. But men, you have to tell both men and women you have to appreciate them both the same okay so you have to compliment each other all the time all the time you have to compliment each other okay so you know so i hope you have um learned something from my video today and um and um i'll be uh, doing more videos in, in the uh, coming few weeks again and um if you like this video uh please 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 um um like share or subscribe and um i'll be seeing you again on my next 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 
next um, video okay so thanks for watching and I'll see you again and thank you all God bless and um, I love you all salamat palangga bye